No, I'm at my wit's end. Well, what are you doing here? I thought maybe if I had spent a day at the spa, I could stop thinking. Hmm. Sure. Uh, can you can you take over here for a minute for me? Of course. Thanks. Sure. I uh, I expect you saw the newspapers this morning. Picture of Tanya. Yes. Well, I I know it won't make much difference, but they'll print anything to sell papers. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Not that I've now that I've made up my mind. About what? I've just decided to testify against Grant. Celia, have you thought this through? Yes. And you're absolutely sure? No, there's one thing I'm sure of, and that's that I am through thinking of how to do things best for Grant, especially after today. I thought some tea might help you relax a bit. Thank you. That was very nice of you, but I'm afraid no matter how relaxed I get, I'm not going to change my mind. More and more, I know that I should do what the district attorney wants me to do. Testify against your husband. My husband, whose lover is on the front page today. Have you told the district attorney you're going to be testifying against Grant? No, not yet. The only other person I've talked to is Grant Putnam. What was his reaction? He said I should remember the good times I had with Grant. I, I think that's good advice. He also brought up my honeymoon and the fact that Grant protected me from the DVX. What did you say to that? Well, Holly, you know as well as I do. It all came out when Grant was exposed as a spy. My honeymoon was sham. I didn't really know then, though, what was going on. When I think back, Fletcher was with us at every minute. I mean, it was more like a honeymoon for three than the traditional two. Hmm. Well, that's true, but don't you see? That's long past. I mean, don't you think you're reaching awfully far back to justify testifying against your husband? I don't care how far back it was. My husband was living a lie. Be honest, Celia. Maybe there's another reason. What other reason? Tanya? Oh, that is not the determining factor. Isn't it? Listen, I'm your friend, and I, I feel I have to say this, but isn't it more than a coincidence that Tanya's picture was in the paper today, and then all of a sudden you're leaning towards helping the district attorney? What are you getting at, Holly? The oldest motive in the world, jealousy. I am not jealous. Well, maybe not consciously, but deep down, if jealousy is your motive, you've got to know that that's wrong. Do you honestly think that I am acting out of jealousy? Maybe you are. I mean, maybe you're not realizing it. But it is possible. Don't you agree? Oh, maybe it is possible. You do know that Grant's relationship to Tanya shouldn't influence you. Not when the rest of your husband's life is hanging in the balance. <laughs> Your timing's perfect. I was just looking up for the day. Hmm? Was it an intriguing one? Um, why did you say that? Oh. People in groups, whispering, talking, you know, that sort of thing, so acting suspicious. That's uh, part of the course around here. And you don't choose to indulge, though? Well, sometimes, but today I've had too much on my mind. Such as? Celia was here. No, I figured that. Do you know when the actual trial will start? They still have four jurors to select. And then once they have all the jurors, jurors, do they start right away? Well, usually, but if the last jurors selected towards the end of the day, the judge will convene for the export session. Oh, so you think it'll start pretty soon? Well, my best guess is still Monday. Why? Well, I think Celia's losing her sense of judgment. Oh. She is seriously considering testifying against Grant. Has she said that to the DA? No, but she's leaning in that direction, and I think it's wrong. Holly, look. Her testimony is just what the prosecution needs. Now, if she wants to give it, why shouldn't she? Because she's doing it for the wrong reason. In your opinion? In anyone's opinion. She's acting out of jealousy. Have you told her how you felt? Yes, I tried. I don't know if I worked, but I tried. What did you say? I told her that the coincidence is obvious. She saw the picture of Tanya in the newspaper, and now immediately she's thinking of testifying against Grant. That is the wrong reason. That is not a valid motivation for being a witness. I could care less about her motivation. I wanted to testify. 
You want it to be accurate, though, don't you? Well, why wouldn't it be? Because of her motivation, her emotional state. Well, that's your worry and not mine. And I might add, Mrs. Scorpio, you are dangerously close to obstructing justice by discouraging a potential witness. I'm not obstructing justice. I'm trying to tell a dear friend of mine that her reasons for making her decision are wrong. For jealousy. Right, jealousy. Celia is jealous about her husband having an affair. Right. And if you yes. ask me from what she was saying today, uh -huh. I don't think she'll ever yes. forgive him. Right. Say good night, Grace. Oh, hi. Yeah, what timing? I never guess who's here acting kind of weird. Who? Our old friend Sylvia. Well, she says she's here to see Leo, but... Uh, I don't know. It's pretty important. I mean, the way she's acting is kind of... Uh, which is? Well, you know, she's kind of edgy, nervous, you know, like she's uh, going to get her teeth filled or something. Oh, where is she now? She's in the lounge waiting for me. Well, I'm afraid it's going to be up to you to keep an eye on her today. I just came in to open up the boutique for one of the volunteers. Oh, you're not going to stay? No, sorry. I've got to run over to Robert's office and see what's happening with Grant. Sure thing. Well, maybe, uh, maybe you tell me what you're looking for. We can speed things up a little, huh? I'm, uh, I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, you're redeeming some friend's mistake again. Oh, no, no. This time I'm more in the market for myself. Ah, a few trinkets to dazzle the husband with, huh? Hey, I understand. Uh, what about these pearl earrings? Oh, uh, no, not my style. I'm just looking for something, you know, new, interesting. Something more personal. Ah, uh, got just the thing. Whole new collection brought in by this wealthy dame. Eh? This watch is part of the collection. You are gonna love it. Huh? Oh, my. Yeah, you like? It's all quality stuff. I paid a fortune for it. Well, this is, this is very nice. To Sylvia with love? Yours for 500. Uh, how much for the whole collection? The whole? whole? Let's see. I... No, I mean, how much did you pay for it? Ah, oh, now, come on. You don't think I'm gonna tell you that, huh? If you want to make a sale. And be honest, Penny, because you know I have a good eye for jewelry. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll tell you, only because you're a good customer of mine. I paid 125000 for the whole collection. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but it's yours for 150 huh? That's a lot of money. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's worth twice that much. I don't know, that kind of money, I'm going to have to think about it for a while. Oh, honey, is that you? Oh, yeah, just out on a little shopping spree. <laughs> what a coincidence, so am I. Yeah, well, you came to the right place, ladies. Look, um, I actually would like to have something appraised. It was a, a present from a friend. Uh, so large, I could hardly believe it's real. Yeah, it certainly glitters in it. Mm. Oh, that's real, all right. Hey, this set the buyer back 10 Gs at least. Good old Dukey. Dookie. Then admire. Thank you. Uh, well, would you like a pair of matching earrings? No, not today, thank you. How about you, Mrs. Scorpio? You make up your mind? Well, I think I'm going to think about it for a while. Could you put it aside for me? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's very pretty, Ooh, Holly. Thank you. Now, there's a lot more in the Whitby collection, if you're interested. Whitby? Yeah. Sylvia Whitby? That's the one. Um, I think I'd like to see it. Okay, I'll get it for you. Thank you. I'll see you at the spa. Where are you going? I'm going to stop by my husband's office first, see if there's any news on Grand Oh, yeah. Trial. See you. Oh, oh, sorry, you're in a meeting. Uh, no, actually, we're talking about you. Oh, please sit down, Holly. Jake, you, you were going to stop by long before I did. Oh, really? Yes, I called the spa. Yes, I wanted to see how the trial was coming. That's exactly why I'm here. You know, the trial starts Monday. I, look, I've already told Jake it won't do any good and it's absolutely out of the question. You're a last chance, Holly. As I was telling Robert, if Celia decides to testify, she'll be personally responsible for sending Grant to prison. You see, no matter what jury we've picked, ultimately it's her decision. You're getting in over your head. Maybe. Look, Holly, I know she's your friend. That's why I say forget it. She's already said no to everyone else. You ask again, you run the risk of alienation. Well, then, that is a risk I'm going to have to take. Jake makes it sound like Grant's last chance, and I can't walk away from that. She's at the quarter means. Will you see it today? As soon as I leave here. 
Thank you, Holly. At least now we will know that no matter what happens, we've done everything. Robert? Talk to you again, mate. Okay. Thanks again. Uh, you mad at me? Furious. This is it then, huh, divorce? Mm, I wish it was that easy. Unfortunately, I'm too damn proud of you. Well, I knew you'd understand why I wanted to do it. You're your own person. You're doing what you believe in. Mainly because it might help Grant. I hope so, because at this stage, I'm not sure what's going to help him. <laughs> 